day 11. Um, just uh, went out of the town of uh, Karakiri and uh, just walking along the sidewalk to uh, the trail. And uh, I had a zero day yesterday. I don't know if it helped much, but I think the swelling in my feet, like my feet are very swollen right now. And uh, I think the swelling is kind of going away. And uh, I hope everything works out. It is difficult to walk with so many pains, but after a while you kind of just get used to it and just keep on walking. The biggest fear I have on this trail is ripping a tendon or something irreversible where I, where I have to be off trail for like months maybe. I can't have that. I don't want that. So today is I think like a 24 or 25 kilometer day so I'll just take it easy all day and enjoy the weather as you can see beautiful weather out and uh, just enjoy the day just arrived at the stone store Pretty famous on trail. Not sure what it's in there, but I don't think it's open yet. I'll have to see later. Really beautiful morning today. Day 12. I think it is day 12. Leaving uh, Papua. Uh, yeah, I don't know the town's name. Uh, it was pretty nice here. Lovely morning today by the ocean. I never can get over how beautiful a morning by the ocean looks like. This is the way I'm heading. That 5k to the next, uh, well, to the ferry car ferry and then like uh, I think 19 kilometers um, road walking and then another nine or so trail to the shelter just walking along the coastline just after Paihia. This is high tide, I think, right now, so that's why I'm kind of rock scrambling here. But it's nothing too major here, so I'll be at the ferry in about I don't know, one hour, one and a half, and I'll wait for the others probably. I was the first one out of camp today. Um, I guess the others, um, they, they were packing up already, so they won't be that far behind me. So I'll just wait at the ferry for them. Just enjoying this awesome, just amazing view and the calmness of the sea. I love this.
I'm road walking again. After that uh, five kilometer uh, coastal walkway, um, I had a choice of either taking a kayak, uh, which is $80, or taking a car ferry, which goes to a different destination, which costs $1. But for the car ferry, uh, which I did take, I am now road walking 19 kilometers, kind of back to the trail, in a way. And uh, I guess I could hitch this, because it's not officially part of the trail, but since I'm not doing the trail on the kayak part, I guess this is the equivalent, kind of, to that. And uh, it's not very fun, but the purest you gotta hike every kilometer, right? And uh, well, I'm trying to do that, even though it's difficult. So I'll show you some of this car coming right now. Yep, it's been like that for the last, I don't know, let's say six Ks. The whole road walk is 19 kilometers. Once I reach the trail again, then I have another 8 kilometers to a shelter. And uh, see you then, I guess, or somewhere along the way. This is the campsite we stayed at last night, this is where I slept, didn't have to set up my tent, pretty nice. After having a zero day in, uh, uh, at this shelter, Russell Forest shelter, um, I've had a pretty late start, it's 8.30 right now. But my legs are feeling fine. The swelling has gone down quite a bit. And uh, now I'm trying to go. Uh, my plan is to go to Helena Bay. Apparently, there's a trail angel there. But that's only 17 kilometers from here. 17. Uh, and the next spot, really, is Wananaki uh, Holiday Park, which is 41 kilometers away. So if I feel good after Helena's Bay, I'll try to go for Wananaki Holiday Park. Another road walk, just finished the uh, uh, Russell Forest section and now it's a uh, 13 kilometer road walk all the way to Helena's Bay and uh, it's going to be like this all the time. Just got on this awesome trail, it's just perfect grade. Good speed after what was that 17 kilometers of just wait 17 kilometers that was like uh, well it was four kilometers from that shelter uh, on the four wheel drive trail and then uh, 13 kilometers on just pavement and just had lunch so it's a quarter after 12. 
and I think I'm doing good time. I decided not to stay in Helena's Bay and uh, trying to get to Wananaki Holiday Park, which is gonna make me hike 41 kilometers today. I hope that's achievable. We'll see. But, like I said, enjoying this amazing trail right now. Just wanted to say, New Zealand doesn't know what switchbacks are. <sighs> Climbing this hill was just intense, as you can see right here. But for that, I get faster to this amazing view. Ah, the water is just so crystal clear and blue. I just want to go there and just jump in. But I have to climb this mountain. I'll get there soon enough. Well, that didn't last long. We've gone from a nice, beautiful cliff's edge uh, trail to this. But as long as it's not muddy. But yeah, I was wishful, wishful thinking to think that I would be on a nice trail for a little while. Just hit a gravel road between uh, two forests that I'm walking in. So after Helena Bay, it was uh, a nice trail until I hit the actual forest and uh, well then it was really rough up and down and all that stuff. And I finished that. From the shelter this morning where I started off, I'm already at 27, 27 and a half kilometers. And uh, I think I have like 13 and a half. Uh, to go. I mean, I still have a forest before me, so that's going to be pretty tough again, but I'll get through it. Get this 41 or 42 kilometer day out of the way, and this horrible section out of the way too. It's still perfect weather. As you can see, It didn't rain, thought it would. It's forecast for this afternoon, but it's still perfect rain. Love it. Pretty hot. Water is. Well, there was no water in the last forest, but there should be some coming up here soon. It says 4.2 kilometers, 2 hours. Uh, Let's make it one. So that sign was off. Managed to do that in 45 minutes. But it depends what fitness level you are and how hard you're pushing yourself.
Last year when I hiked the uh, uh, same trail, this is the part. Uh, you come from here, you walk through here, and then bam, you're here. And this has a very significant uh, impact to me because this is the spot where I got lost. Where I just kept on going and going and going. And I was in the middle of this jungle. Like there were vines, there were... Like I could, I was just tripping over everything and uh, I just didn't know which way to go. So something significant that I learned after that was if I lose a trail marker, go right back to where the last one was and then find a way. And I almost actually went this way, but then I saw that, and that orange uh, tape is... Uh, a trail marker so if you don't really pay attention sometimes here it's uh, it can be very devastating and uh, could be very serious injury or deadly sometimes or search and rescue has to be called so it's always good to pay attention to where you're walking and uh, for me it's a good uh, learning curve all right Good thing I didn't do the same thing this time. Now I have, uh, well, fields until a road, but all together it's like Three kilometers left, I think. Oh man, that feels so good to be so close. I just want to get some ice cream or get something cold. And then just relax, my feet up. Today is day 15. Um, I'm doing uh, 27 kilometers, but it's fairly easy. So, just enjoying the day today and uh, probably get some takeaway, fish and chips. Oh, I can't wait for that. Um, I'm going to the eco uh, campground, I guess it's called. <coughs> But just before that, there's a town where I just stuff myself with um, takeaway. Enjoy that. And we got a nice view here. Just stayed at that campsite in Wananahi campground and just heading out right now. And this is the first thing you see. It's apparently the longest bridge on in the southern hemisphere or something. <laughs> 